Good afternoon, I'm Laura Gray. Investigators are working right now to find out what triggered a three alarm fire in North Buffalo. They are calling this fire suspicious. It's a story that we first brought you as breaking news on 7 Eyewitness News this morning. And 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Beauvais has been following for this, following this for us. He's live at Elmwood and Hurdle with the latest. Laura, very different scene here at Elmwood and Hurdle. As you just mentioned, cars driving up and down the street. That wasn't happening this morning. That's because the road was closed because of this vacant warehouse right here. Take a look. You can see all the rubble right here. That is from an emergency demolition that took place at around 7 this morning after the fire broke out at around 2.45. Now, take a look at this video. This is what it looked like when we got to the scene this morning. Fire crews battling the fire from above, from the ladders because of of a partial collapse on the roof that made them, made it unsafe rather, to enter the building. Now, as you mentioned earlier, Garnell Whitfield, Buffalo Fire Commissioner, said that the fire is suspicious because this building has been vacant for multiple years. He said more than five. And when a fire sparks up in a building that's been vacant for so long, an investigation is absolutely important trying to figure out what exactly happened. So when fire crews got to the scene today, they wanted to make sure they did everything possible. Part of that was making sure they demolished the front of the building. So everything and everyone was safe. The front of the building uh, is maybe 15 feet from the sidewalk of Elmwood Avenue. Uh, the front of the building was structurally unsound. The wall was starting to kick out. Uh, we wanted to take it down so it wouldn't uh, endanger anyone. Firefighters weren't sure exactly how bad the damage was, but they did tell me they expect it to be well over $100,000. Now, the demolition happened here in the front. Firefighters were able to contain that blaze mostly to the front, but damage throughout the whole building. And this, this noon, we are just learning that one firefighter was taken to the hospital. We knew that earlier this morning, but we just heard back that firefighter recovering right now at Buffalo General. He was sent there for chest pains. No word yet on when he'll be released. Reporting live in North Buffalo, Map OVA 7 Eyewitness News.